In the recovery from conflict, always the first challenge is to create national institutions. And of those national institutions, the most important is a unified army. Um, it's critical for countries emerging from conflict to have a security apparatus which is seen as reflecting the country itself, reflecting its unity, its new national identity. The Unified Armed Force could make a, a, a strong contribution, including mitigating the cycles of violence <clears throat> that we've seen, intercommunal violence, which requires a national intervention rather than a partisan intervention. The people that we speak to on the ground frequently cite the absence of a unified uh, security uh, ensemble of institutions as the barrier to mitigating the intercommunal violence and the distrust of existing security interventions. We would like to see uh, really significant progress uh, on the question of preparations for elections, particularly in this context. Uh, the factor which is most often cited by political parties as a barrier to that is the absence of a unified uh, security structure. Elections themselves are um, much more technical and difficult than people very often understand. And uh, to properly manage elections uh, really does require putting in place the logistical and security uh, measures which are required to assure the population that the election has been properly and fairly carried out. Uh, it's the creation of a security apparatus which will require to be equipped, to be transported, to be fed, housed, clothed, uh, and uh, generally deployed in a manner which is effective. In our view, the first obligation to meet that expense falls on the government itself, uh, which does have access to some resources. And if government were to advance the necessary resources and indicate uh, the importance it places on this development, then I think the international community might step forward to assist as well. We think that uh, once the uh, government has embarked on the process of creating a unified army, it will be in a better position to take on the other tasks which are necessary for stabilization. And those would include, of course, development, uh, delivery of humanitarian aid, um, uh, tackling the re recurrent uh, uh, cycles of not only violence but flooding, which uh, and leads to food insecurity. And quite frankly, when we look at what we're trying to achieve at the end of the day, it is a country which is at peace with itself. These are all possibilities, which is to suggest that it's not the end of the process, it's the beginning of a process. <laughs>